Hello everyone, welcome to my second part of um, creating a blog with the Play Framework 2.0. Um, in, the, in the first um, part I just explained what I want to do all together and this time I'd like to show you um, the modification I did so far for this little blog tutorial. Um, so what I did basically is adding the basics and the assets and stuff like that. Um, let's have a look at that. You can see in your public folder, we have um, a few things I've added. Um, I have a bootstrap responsive and also a bootstrap min, um, as well as the JavaScript for it. So I'm using bootstrap for um, like the visualization of that, of that block. It makes things easier for me. And also I added um, two classes for the block and a comment, because in the first step, I'd like to just um, make a few blocks and also a few comments and test these and, also, and so on. So I'm just leaving the user aside for the moment and I only created this, these two classes. Um, so we, let's have a look at the model first, at these two classes. Um, as I said before, and the only thing what these two classes have is like a text field and a date when it is created. I also um, have this relationship for the comments, so the blog knows his comments. Um, and also like a get all blocks. We will modify this later, but it's also like the basic functionality. Um, <clears throat> the same thing we have for the comment. Um, we have also only a text and a date created. And also like the, the comment knows to which block he's referring to. So um, we have also like a basic method. Um, the difference is this time, I do not know what kind of, which kind of direction I will choose to approach this thing, so I just added the basic functionality at the point. Um, <clears throat> what I also did is I modified my main Scala, I added the assets I explained before, so I have like the bootstrap min and the bootstrap responsive, and also the JavaScript for it. Um, also, I added here, as you can see, a little form. This is our login later. Um, we have here like a description, what it is, it's our blog tutorial, and how we create a simple blog. Um, then we, I made a little example how it will look like later. There are no variables at the moment. They are just um, static text, but just to give you an idea how it will look like later. And also we have little comments. Um, we will we will modify this later as well. So what I did in this tutorial um, so far is only um, providing the basics. Um, <clears throat> I will show you this in live now. So this is how our blog tutorial looks so far with the, only these few lines of code. Looks pretty awesome, I would say. Um, also, um, this login field I told you before. This is the this is the description, and we have here our little blog entry and our two comments. Um, so this is everything what I've done so far. Um, not very much, but uh, it, this should be also a little kickoff for the project. Um, also what I did is I pushed this project to GitHub. So you can see um, I created an account on GitHub, where is my dip? And on this account, you can see um, there is a repository called Tutorials. And in this Tutorials, there is, because I think I will make more tutorials in the future, and there is our little blog here. So you can go inside this blog and check all the classes, everything. And you can also, of course, um, just get it on your own computer. Um, so this is my first tutorial so far um, for the blog. I hope you understand everything. Um, if there are any questions to it, because it's only the basic stuff, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.